Hi, I'm Jennifer, and welcome to Stitch Tutorials and Techniques with Celtic Knot Crochet. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to make your safety eyes even more secure. Adding safety eyes like these to crochet projects has become very popular lately, but I've discovered that sometimes they're not as secure as you would like, even though they're called safety eyes, and you put this anchor on the back, on that stem, and it's supposed to lock the eye in place. But I've discovered that sometimes because the yarn is loose or the stitches are big, uh, these eyes can pop out. And of course, then it's not safety and it's not safe for little kids and we don't want them choking on them. So when all else fails, do not leave a young child alone with any project that has safety eyes, uh, just to be safe. But here is a way that I've come up with to make them a little more secure. So you have your crocheted project and you insert the eyes where you would like them. This is from the Acorn Softy project that you can find on my blog, CelticKnotCrochet.com, and there's also a video tutorial on my YouTube channel. So what I discovered is that if you take a piece of fabric, and I found that felt or fleece works really well, or you can use um, even two layers of cotton fabric that you've sewn together. So they're nice and sturdy and they won't fray and disintegrate inside the stuffy. Uh, I'm using felt for this project because I don't anticipate washing it very often. Felt will hold up under some washings, but if it's something that you're going to wash regularly, then I would use maybe fleece because you don't have to uh, secure the edges or like I said, make a cotton square and sew around the edges. And I just want to make sure that this is going to extend past the eyes. And I'm going to kind of, no pun intended here, eyeball it. Ha ha. And put a small hole with my sharp scissors into the felt. And I'm going to take that small hole and put it over one of the stems of the eyes, like that. And then I'm going to feel around and I want to make sure that I put the next hole in the right place. So I do one hole at a time like this. and press it through there. The smaller the hole the better because the tighter it will be on your eye stem. And so now I have the eyes going through this fabric. So this just adds another layer of anchor. I just want to make sure my eyes aren't pulling or doing something weird on the front. And now, as you usually do with a safety eye, I'm going to put the anchor on it like that. And I like to put them on um, gently, not push them as hard as I can because I want to see what it looks like. Sometimes if you squeeze them too hard, it actually makes the eyes dig into your crocheted fabric and looks kind of funny. So, and then you can check them that you can't, they, they're not slipping off. I try to pull them off and I can't. And because I made it in tan, you can't see it through my stitches. And I have a nice anchor here for my safety eyes. So I recommend trying this technique for a variety of your crochet softy and plushy projects. And that way your eyes will be more secure and you can be rest assured that they'll be much safer for any child that you give it to.